so this is the iPhone 14 Pro and today I'll be showing you how to uninstall apps from your iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max. All you need to do is of course unlock your phone and go to the home screen where the apps are. Select the app you want to uninstall, touch and hold the app icon and a little menu will appear and you have the option to remove app, share app or edit home screen. So tap on remove app and once you do that another menu appears with the option to delete app or to remove from the home screen. Now removing from the home screen will not uninstall the app. The only option that will uninstall the app is delete app. So you tap on that and then another pop-up window will ask you to confirm you want to delete that app. So tap on delete once again and that app has now been uninstalled successfully. Now, that's one way of deleting or uninstalling a single application. Now, you can also uninstall apps automatically. And these are apps you don't use often. And that process is called offloading applications. This will free up your phone's memory so you can use it to do other things. And it does this by selecting the apps you don't use regularly, uninstalling the apps, but retaining the app data on the phone so that when you need to use the app in future, you can simply go to the app store, install the app, and it's going to be joined with that app's user data. To do that, go to settings. On the settings page, scroll to general, tap on that, and then go to iPhone storage, tap on that. And then here, it's going to show you everything in your iPhone's storage, including all the applications. Now, before I talk about offloading unused apps, you can also uninstall applications from here and this one offers a very smart way of uninstalling apps because it's going to give you the option to uninstall an app but retain the app data on the iPhone. Let's pick an app like Pinterest for instance. So if you type on that app, as you can see, there's an option to offload app which is basically uninstalling but retaining the app data and also have the delete app option which will completely uninstall the app. Now, as you can see, the documents and data, which is my user data, is only 14 MB, but the app is only 166.7 MB. So the smart thing to do here is to offload the app, which will only uninstall the app itself, but will retain my user data of this app on the iPhone in case I want to reinstall it later, okay? Now I'll quickly go back to the iPhone storage page here you have offload and used apps. If you enable that by tapping on that, your iPhone will keep checking which apps you use and which ones you don't use. And it's going to take the apps you don't use, keep the app data on the phone and install the apps themselves automatically. So that in future, if you want to use that app, you can simply go to the app store, install the app and get to using the app right away. And those are the different ways of uninstalling apps on your iPhone 14 lineup. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.